my name is Rage, and welcome to the next episode of Fish Spider Industries. And yes, it's back, you ask. Why did it take so long for the next episode? Well, the reason, if you ask, and then I know that you are asking. Well, the reason is that I don't even know. If I had to give a reason, then I guess I would have to say that I got distracted over the holidays, and I just don't know. So if I was to continue making up reasons why I forgot to do more episodes, then I would have to go with aliens, attack my house, and then they got into a mouse, and then they used the mouse as a drone. And then the drone of a mouse took over a cat, and then the cat became the drone. The cat grew lasers out its eyes, and then it took it over the pies, and then I'm not really saying any words. And then the words became the drone, which meant the drone was now the words, and then the words were coming us, and then I don't know what happened, and then explode. And then the flames went high, and the flames went low, and the flames are a limbo champion, who's now the drone, so the limbo's now the drone, so that's basically why, why there's not been a fish spider industries in a while, so we're back. <laughs> how much fun it is doing fish spider industries i had so as you can see ladies and gentlemen we have a cave now i told you it would happen i did i wasn't lying we have the final boss cave it's awesome it's boss like because the cave's gonna have a but let's just go in Let's just go in the cave. So you get across here and everything's good. And you're like, oh, look at the cave. The cave is cray. The cave is cray. And then it became the drone. <laughs> so over here, this is the thing that we made with the underground tunnel system. And the boss is going to be planted around here, I think. Yes, indeed. So I mainly want to catch you up to speed with what's going on and what we're going to do. So, over here, this is the tunnel that you get to. So, what I thought would be cool is have this sort of sand fall in, which lets you hop down into it. This is the cave area. You go through this tunnel that we made, and then I say we. We didn't make it at all. There's more sand fall in, and you can climb up there. And then, look, you're in the tower, and you're safe from the fucking spiders. Look at him. He's hopping mad. Because <laughs> he's hopping. Okay, good. Good, we made progress. We did. We did. We made all the progress. So... I, oh, this should be a wall, technically, here, because there's two ways to get in this main chamber. But what I realized is that if I have this all the way to the ceiling, then how is the spider got in here? So I'm kind of going to make this a sort of on the unrealistic side, but still, you know, it's fine. It'll do. Wall to stop people getting over here, but you can see the sort of the spider crawled through. Oh, it might be good just to show it like exploded, like the like the spider just smashed the giant sentient spider queen, who I've decided is going to be a centaur spider with like a rage gaming top thing. That would be that's going to be cool actually. That's going to be quite cool. All right, so this is going to be the wall preventing everyone from skipping over this. Is there any way to cheat the system? I'm not a part of your system. Apart from when I am, in which case then the system system's quite good actually so that's there you can't get up there you can go onto there go onto there hop onto here we want to make it so you can't hop onto here all right so it's quite hard making it so people quite 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 cheat it's quite hard making it so people quite cheat yes quite quite okay good i wonder if one could keep up this entire accent for the duration of the video i just think it would be quite a special thing to do Okay, so we've got the various cave going on, and I kind of want to put stuff in the cave, but I'm not really sure what I should do. Obviously, there's going to be a crap ton of spiders, so your options are, you do this parkour bit and go in through the roof, or you go all the way down here and come in through this tunnel, which is a much, much harder place to actually arrive from. So, the question is, where are we going to have the Spider Queen placed? Because I want to start building her, yes, indeed. So, we want red and black wool for it. That's the main cause. And what I like is that over in the corner of the main boss fight area, if we go over here, there's like this bit, and then you can drop down into this cave system, which is like, shit, should not have dropped into webbing, but it's, a, you know, it's an escape if you desperately need it. I don't know why this is here. I don't know why this is here at all. I mean, Heavens wasn't even a part of this series. <laughs> I hate Caesar Clown so much. I really, I really do. Glass down. We need the glass down. Cause it's down that's gonna glow the best. It's gonna glow the best. Gonna glow all the best in the vest of the glow wing on the don't know what I'm saying anymore. Wow. What is the eye? The gleam in his eye. Oh yeah, here lies the world's best replacement cyb cyb limb. 
Lim, I'm not very good at spelling when I'm on a rant and stressed, am I? Apparently, it's, it's nice seeing the damage that I've done to Fish Spider Industries while not in the best state of mind. It really, really is. How do you get out of here? I didn't. Did I have an exit? I feel like it's over here and it's somehow got a little bit, a little bit mashed. Is it? Was it? I can't. What? Ah ha ha ha! So this is like a. Okay, okay, so this is like a secret. Okay, let's make this a little bit more obvious. So you can go down there for the secret, and there's more places you can hide, and then there's that. So these are both accessible from this place. And you've got that to lead to there, and then you've got this little cavern area over here, which leads to absolutely nowhere. So I guess we'll just seal this off, because this doesn't do anything. So yay, placing stone! How much do you guys enjoy watching me place stone for hours on air? Well, it's not hours on end. It'd be a bit weird if these episodes were hours long. Okay, so, spider queen. Spider queen. How am I gonna build a spider queen? Queen of the spiders, spider queen. All right, so we're gonna have one foot there. Good, we've made a foot. We've made a foot, everybody. This is, this is gonna be a very impromptu spider queen. Not gonna lie, this might look shit, and if it does, then I'm gonna say it's part of deliberacy. It's part of deliberacy, I'm just gonna leave that there for some lighting. So, right, that's gonna be number one leg. There we go, we got number one leg, that's good, that looks like a spider queen, right? I think we just need to leave it one thick, I think, I don't know why, but more spindly is kinda more, more scary. Im, im, ho. Okay, so we'll put another leg there. Another leg there, and the final leg sort of there, because then we've got the four legs going that way. And then the body is going to be like up here, like an abdomen on its way round, if you get me. So I'll do the legs first. This is, this is going to be, this is going to be, I may be about to Tom and Jerry, this spider, I'm not going to lie. For those of you that don't know the Tom and Jerry reference, for shame! Okay, so put that over there. Yes, that has been a while. Up the up, yep, yeah, go. Good. That's kind of kind of looking okay on the okay side of things. Now put that there. That there. That's alright. And then okay, so that's gonna be the main body of the spider. I feel like I'm gonna have to make things a little bit closer together in order to make it work. But I'm gonna put some red along here. Yes, indeed. So put that like that, that like that. Okay, so that kind of works. If I delete that, there we go. So that's a sort of stripe. And then I'm going to bring this all the way round. Because this is going to be the boss, obviously. So it's going to have to be laden with TNT inside. And I want it kind of symmetrical. So we need to have the legs on the other side. Because maybe they're not all, they're obviously not all going to be planted in the same way. So this is going to come up a little bit like so. I don't really know how well this is going to look, but, you know, at the end of the day, at least I tried, and that's really all that you can ask, so that's going to come up like that. All right, now this needs to be on top of it, so that's going to go over there like that, going to come up like here, and then this is going to be the main part of the body of the Spider Queen. Okay, so that'll come in like that. There we go. So this leg is, um, uh, this leg is a floating Spider Queen leg, is what this is. So I think what we'll do to fix this is we'll make it a bit more, a bit more intrigue. God, every, like, every quality builder is watching this thinking this is the worst, worst, like, giant spider mutant creature combined with the personality of yourself that I've ever seen built. You are a disgrace to your clan and you should be executed for your heresy, you piece of sh- and, like, really getting intense. But that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. So up here... Want this to go a bit fronty, and then it's going to come up like this. There we go. Because, you know, spider centaur thing. And then it's going to come out like this. There we go. This is totally going to work. This is totally going to be the best that you've ever seen. The best spider-based creature that, you know, the world, Voltador. I don't really know what I'm saying anymore, but at least I'm rhyming. So there's that. Score! I don't know. The world. The world is not enough. No, the world is not enough, and then there's gonna be a head here, head here. Oh, there's gonna be a head here, head here. And oh, look, I'm making the head now, head now. So this is the head of the Spider Queen. Oh, the head of the Spider Queen, if you know what I mean. She's got the jaws going on, and the jaws of the death, and then she's gonna eat you with them jaws, and it's gonna be cruel, and then you're gonna get crushed, and it's gonna be a brun of brutal. Actually, I'm describing a giant spider mauling you. Okay, so we got the head of the Spider Queen. I realize it looks like the devil. I don't know what that is, but look, we got our rage. Look. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. New plan. 
new plan. Okay, I think new plan for the Spider Queen is, you know what I haven't done in a while, ladies and gentlemen? I haven't done a Fish Spider Industries competition. So, this is the kind of thing I want. A centaur-based spider. We're going to help each other out here. We're going to help each other out here, okay? It's going to be a proper competition, because I haven't done a competition in ages, and I am kind of kind of want to, and Fish Spider Industries was always great. So... What I want from you guys, okay, I don't know what the prize will be. A curatorship of the boss fight, almost definitely, and maybe something more tangible. ka -ching! I want you guys to submit a spider queen that's like a centaur spider queen. Because, let's be honest, <laughs> it's just a... <laughs> See, been one shot. So shit! It's so shit! Okay, so I want it to fit in this cave, okay? I want you to send me a picture of your own Spider Queen design so I can get some inspiration for building it within this cave. You can see the kind of environment, okay, that is gonna be going in. I want it to be centaurish, so it's like body of a person with a spider's abdomen, and I want and then I'll modify it for my own purposes for the boss fight, okay? So if you guys want your Spider Queen or parts of your Spider Queen to be in the final boss fight, ragegaminggeneral at gmail.com. The email will be in the description. Title it with Spider Queen title of your email, Spider Queen, otherwise I won't look at it, and attach an image of your own version of the Centaur Spider Queen. Remember, it's a fish spider that's combined with the Bat negative aspects of the CEO, aka me, to become a hybrid mutant spider centaur queen monster. So that's your brief. I mean, I was gonna carry on giving her arms like this and just, yep, she's got arms, everybody. It's the spider queen with arms. <laughs> building this uh, and then I was gonna have parts of like just pushed up against the wall because apparently there's no space like this was gonna be her abdomen hanging over her because it's like been pressed up against her back for some reason and that was gonna be made 3d ish across the whole thing so like we make that go over there like that so there's gonna have that and then there's gonna be this part that was gonna have to go underneath because there's not enough space anymore because her abdomen has pushed everything out of the way uh, it was just gonna, <laughs> it was gonna be where she spawned spiderlings on you out of this bit here this bit was gonna oh what was i thinking this is the worst planned boss fight you've ever seen there was gonna be dispensers and pistons and that was gonna drop spiderlings on you with their abdomen <laughs> <laughs> I might as well. I just, I might as well give it a happy face, honestly. I might as well just give it a happy face. It's a happy Spider Queen! Oh, God. So, the Spider Queen, yeah, I'm turning this into a competition because this is just, this is, oh, I can see this being fun. I can see this being fun, honestly. I, I, I will show a few designs in, in subsequent episodes, guys. You got a couple weeks to do it. So, yeah, the email in the description to attach a picture of your own spider queen that would fit in this place for the boss fight and I'm going to take some inspiration and everyone who I use inspiration from is going to be shouted out curatorship, you know, some something along those lines so you guys can get involved again finally because I haven't done a curator competition in forever and <laughs> just look at it, it's so bad alright, I guess I'll move on with something else for a bit because this is just incredibly distracting it really, really is so the idea Okay, as you get into this cave, and what you can do is you can parkour along here, like so. Fuck off, Enderman. Nobody likes you, not even your mother. And then you get through here, and you got the spiders coming through the flame. You can do that, that's all good. And then you get to the end here. Now, what was the point of that? See, I've also done a secret, which I think is kind of cool. So if you go here, you see this ledge here. If you jump to. Okay, no, it's alright, it's alright, I can do it. It's fine, it's fine. No, it's fine, it's absolutely fine. If you jump to here, and you get on the roof, and you're like, oh, ooh! Ooh, what can I do? I can go up here. Is it that lovely? And you can sneaky sneak to get to the boss fight. And then, oh, there she is in all of her retarded glory. I don't have the words. I really don't. So that bit works. So what I want is something going on in this cave. Maybe lava? Lava kind of works. If I had lava patches everywhere, that actually does thing. I want some kind of challenge. Maybe a puzzle to solve. Maybe some parkour. Maybe, because there is parkour there, obviously. But, hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of the entire cave being, like, bubbling with lava. So you absolutely have to take this route. So if we make it so you have to climb into the cave, 
at the front. All right, more stone. More stone being placed. We got this, guys. We got this. See, when I haven't done a fish spider in this episode in a while, I like to take an episode just to organize my ideas because I come up, I come up with ideas really well while recording for some reason. And, you know, it tends to be quite funny when I come up with ideas and try and do them on the spot as the worst spider queen in the world can, you know, attest to. Oh, God, I'm never going to live that down. I am never going to live the attempt that that would have been down. Just, I'm just not so, so horrific. All right, so you're going to climb into the cave like so, and then there's going to be a shit. There's going to be a sh Wow, don't take me out of context there. Don't. Do lava, go, spread, spread everywhere, spread all of the places, lava, you will conquer the world, the world was meant for you, lava, cause it's getting hot in here, is it just me, or are we now all Mr. Lava Lava, or the best you've never seen before, because of the lava that's going everywhere, why is the lava struggling to place in a lot of places, come on, lava, come on, I just want a heavily lavered place, because lava parkour is the best type of parkour, because lava, lava parkour is what we live for, yes, indeed. Okay, so we're getting there. So this looks very, very lavery. I don't want the entire floor to be covered. I want kind of there to be a way to progress if you really want to be the kind of badass that wades through the lava. Because originally this cave was just going to be a crap ton of spiders. And fighting your way through a crap ton of spiders to then fight a bigger spider isn't the funnest thing in the world. So I think having to weave around lava kind of adds a little bit more danger Danger, danger to it, which is, you know, always something kind of appreciated. And what I think might be cool is if there's a part of the cave that if you get to with... Okay, so if we make it here, because that's got lava on it. So if we make it here, if we go up to the surface, what I think might be cool is if I get vines and... Coming up with a boss fight, it turns out, guys, is kind of difficult. So if we make vines going up there, I want this to be sort of an upper level of the cave. Maybe the spider hatcheries where some serious shit's going on, that could be kind of cool. So, you know, this very, very obvious way of climbing up. So you're going to get into the cave, you're going to arrive here, and this is your first vista. You're going to see the spider queen over there, she's not really activated yet, so you're just going to be like, oh shit, or maybe, oh, this would be, actually, this is really cool. So if, say, we had a pressure plate, okay, so you get up here, or maybe not a pressure plate, but maybe it detects that a player is here, and you see over there, because you can see the Spider Queen, but you can't get to her, and she starts taunting you. So while you're doing all these puzzles, she's, like, voicing in chat that she's, like, laughing at you, and I can actually put in a voice file of... <laughs> like, voice... Wow. That I can actually voice act the spider. That would be really... Oh, welcome to my lair, my pretty... Like, really get a Transylvanian. Welcome to my lair! I'm apparently a female Spider Queen who talks like this. Don't question it, because you will die! Kill all of you. I, you! That could be fun. That would be quite fun. I do like the idea of that, okay? I do like the idea of that. I'm going to leave a wooden pressure plate here to remind me of that idea. Okay, good. That's definitely happening because that's hilarious. So you get here, you've got this vista, you're like, shit, shit is going down. So, uh, so yeah, we make this have like a outcrop that you've climbed up to and then I want like a nesting area for the spiders like she's put a load of eggs up here oh the first part of the fight is for you to go burn all of her eggs that she's laid so it's gonna be like obviously white wool and black wool is gonna represent the eggs but the first part is to burn her eggs and like you burn them and then she screams and chat no and you know like a full-on interactive fight and maybe even have oh what if we had multiple versions of this cave that you teleport between, so it's like the fight actually has phases. So she's in this room trying to stop you destroying her eggs, then it teleports you to another place where she's moved over there, and it's like a full-on interactive boss fight. I might have to speak to Redstone Guy, because that would be freaking cool. So if you, like, climb up here to destroy the eggs... Make sure you don't fall, because you'll die. So obviously when you walk in here, you'll set your spawn, you'll keep your inventory. This is where it happens, the final frontier. That, oh, I'm really, okay, I'm buzzing now. I am buzzing. These ideas are the, are the, yes! I'm glad I did this episode. This is, this has been fun. The spider is so I can't wait to see what people come up with. So up here, like, say if we got black wool, where is black wool? I require you. Okay, so if we had, like, say, these were the spider eggs just coating 
this area like so and you had to come up here and burn them all because they're all going to hatch into new queens that will go out and get their own layer and then once each one of them is burnt you can move on to the next challenge which is wage your way through maybe the drones and like work your way up through the colony of spiders because it's like a species of social spider till you get to the spider queen herself and then lots of shit's going to be happening in here maybe it force you to use <gasps> what can we have a way that this entire area gets like bombed with something maybe she fires like a mist out which kills everyone on the floor so you have 30 seconds to like run down here and get up into this booth and then press a button or something which continues the fight like a proper phase in fact, I know we can do that. So imagine you're, you're fighting her, you're shooting arrows at maybe weak points, killing guys, and then suddenly she's like, ENOUGH! I WILL KILL YOU WITH MY POISON MIST! And you're like, SHIT! And she's like, I'M CHARGING MY MIST UP! And you're like, NO! STOP CHARGING YOUR MIST UP, BITCH! And she's like, I'M CHARGING MY MIST UP! And then you're running down here and you're like, oh god, the mist is happening. Quick, go up there! And she's like, FIVE! Four before the mist! I'm on the ladder! Three before the mist! Two before the mist! And then you press a button and then this like locks down, protects you from the mist and then after ten seconds you'll be like, ALRIGHT! I'll stop the mist! I'm coming to kill you, you spider bitch! And she's like, NO! THE MIST DIDN'T WORK! I'll try it again later! And have a full on tiered boss fight. Alright, good. I am- I am- <laughs> so bad! Okay, I'm ideaed up right now. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Let me know what you guys think of everything. If you've got any own ideas for this KV final boss fight. Oh, I'm pumped! I am pumped. Please remember to like if you enjoyed this episode, everybody. I will see you all next time. Yes, in indeed. Goodbye. <laughs> Best thing.